Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the equation of the pinch of voltage in junction field effect transistor. A pinch of voltage is the value of VGS for which the value of the drain current is zero is called the pinch of voltage or VP. That means the value of VGS when the ID current will be zero, then it will be the pinch of voltage. Similarly, this pinch of voltage can also be defined using the drain to source voltage or source to drain voltage. So in that case, the value of source to drain voltage or VSD for which the value of ID will be saturated to a value of ID SS for VGS equals to 0 volt is called the pinch of voltage. And these are the two definition we can give for a pinch of voltage, one using the gate to source voltage, another one using the source to drain voltage. Now let us find the equation of a pinch of voltage of a JFET. So for that we need to draw the cross sectional area or the cross sectional view of a JFET. So the cross sectional view of the JFET looks like this and it is a N channel JFET. So for N channel JFET we need know that we need to connect source with the negative potential and drain with the positive potential because VSD is negative in the n channel jfet and this is the depletion region the dotted line that has been formed due to the application of the minus vsd and let us define some parameters inside it so before the application of the vsd the channel length or the channel cross section that was there so the we can say the actual width of the channel. So the actual width of the channel is like this. So this is the actual width. I am defining it as 2A. So we can write that 2A is the actual width of the channel before the formation of the depletion region. Now let us define that the channel length. So channel length can be defined from this point to this point. So the channel length will be defined by this length capital L. So capital L is the channel length. Now let us define the value of A. So, A is the half channel width. So, we can say A is equals to half channel width because 2A is the actual width of the channel when no depletion layer has been formed. Now, let us define that this thickness is W dash and this thickness is W dash. Now let us define a point X from the source that is this point. So it is the distance X from the source where the channel length has been defined by this equation as 2b of x. So x is the distance from the source and 2b x is the parameter that will define the channel width at different value of x. So we can say that 2bx is the channel width 
after the penetration of the depletion layer and measured at a distance x. And what is W dash? W dash is the width of the depletion layer near to the drain terminal and 2B is the channel width near the drain terminal. So, let us define that the channel width near the drain terminal is this one I am denoting it as 2B. So, 2B is the channel width near the drain terminal. So, these are the parameters that will be needed and for this we can say that 2B can be written as 2A minus 2 into width of the depletion layer on both side means the W dash ok. So, 2A minus 2W dash. So, this will give you the this 2B. Now, for a n channel jet, the pinch of voltage can be defined by a equation. So, we can write that for n channel jet, the equation for the pinch of voltage can be written as Vp mod is equals to Q and D into a square divided by 2 epsilon volts. So, this is the equation for Vp in n channel jet where n d is the donor concentration in n type material and A what is A? A we have already defined that is the channel half width and epsilon is the permittivity of the material of the jet. So, we can say that this Vp mod is sometimes called as the internal pinch of voltage. And this internal pinch of voltage is nothing but the pinch of voltage of the jet, where the ID current or the drain current in the n channel jet in the ohmic region can be defined as can be defined as ID is equals to 2BQ into ND into mu n into Vds divided by L by W and this is for n channel jet. Now, now this equation can be simplified in this pattern that Id is equals to 2BQ n d into mu n into w divided by v d s divided by capital L, where L w are defined in the previous cross sectional view of the jet, but that is this v d s by L is defined by nothing but the electric field inside the jet and 2BW that means this one 
is defined by the cross sectional area of the channel that is capital A. So, we can rewrite this equation in this way that ID will be equals to capital A into Q into mu n into n d into capital E, where capital E is the electric field inside the J fet that is V d s by L. So, we can say from this equation that I d is proportional to the cross sectional area of the channel, also proportional to the doping concentration of the channel, also proportional to the mobility of the carriers inside the channel and we know that if the temperature increases then mobility will decrease. So, we can say that if temperature increases then the ID current will decrease that is with temperature ID is always decreasing. Similarly, ID also proportional to electric field and the ID is nothing but a drift current because ID is proportional to E and we know that in drift current the current is proportional to the electric field and also the ID is proportional to the W by L ratio and this W by L ratio is called the aspect ratio of the J fet that is we can say that drain to source resistance that is the channel resistance and it is nothing but the Rd will be equals to capital Vds divided by the current Id that is the voltage across drain to source and the current flowing if in between drain to source that is Id. So, from this equation we can find that the drain to source resistance we can also call it as uh, RDS and this is nothing but the RD will be equals to we know the value of ID and putting the value of ID we can find that capital L divided by 2BW Q ND into mu n. So, this is the drain to source resistance inside the channel and we can see that the RDS value is also proportional to L by W and we can say that it is inversely proportional to the W by L where W by L is the aspect ratio of the J fet. That means higher aspect ratio of J fet means lower drain to source resistance. So, this is all about how to calculate the pinch of voltage of a J fet. Thank you.